<gasps> Yay! This was posted online by an Australian maths teacher, Eddie Wu. And in today's video, we are going to attempt to solve the problem. everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. For today's video I thought it would be fun if you want to join me to have a go at an emoji maths puzzle. So basically what we've got here is we've got three things that are, are sort of being grouped together and we've got three beers adding up to three We've got a limit going on here, and then we've got an integral. Now, if this was sort of grouped to a level of maths in the UK, I would say this would be A-level maths. Possibly, would it be further maths? I don't think it would. I think you do limits to infinity in A-level maths. I can't remember. But anyway, I would say about A-level maths. Now, let's see where we can start. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the emojis. So I can see here that I've got an integral and we've got like an ice cream pot here, but with a D out the front. So I'm gonna guess in maths terms, that's DX. So I'm going to put DX there. So the ice cream is gonna become an X. So that will also be an X there. Now I'm going to then have the burgers because it's a limit there, I'm gonna have the burger as an N. So we'd also have an N there and an N there. I'm not going to call the pizza anything because when we work out the limit, that will give us the answer to the limit. So the pizza will be the answer. Also, we need something for the beer. So we'll just call that B for beer. Okay. B plus B plus B must be equal to three, just looking at that first line. So therefore we can easily say that B is one. Now, if I get rid of that, because we've worked out what a beer is, which we need here in the final thing, so that's okay. If we now work out the limit, it will be the limit that N tends towards infinity because we've let a burger be equal to N. And that then will be a beer, which is now one. So one plus one over N to the power N. Now I need to work out that, and that will be equal to the pizza. Now inside the limit here, what we're doing, it's a little bit like compound interest. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my calculator and I'm just gonna put big numbers of N in. Let's just put one in for starters, and then one plus one over answer, all to the power of answer. So what I've done is here you can see I've put one into the calculator and I'm just going to increase this like one, two, three, four, and then it's giving me an answer out the front. So when I start with one, it goes to two. If I then go to 10, it goes to 2.5937. If I then go to 100, it goes 2.704. If I then go to 1000, 2.716. Nine and that carries on and then it's if I do um, 10,000 it's 2.718 if I do 100,000 2.718 and I don't think it's changing anymore oh it still is changing so you can see with a really really big number is that a million or is that a billion or is it 10 million uh, it's 10 million. So we can see we're getting an answer of 2.718. And if I, I again increase that by 10, it's still giving us 2.718, 28, blah, 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 blah. And let's see how many decimal places it needs for it not to change. Okay. Oh, it says it tends towards one, but that can't be possible. So it's tending towards 2.71828. And I already knew that it was going to tend to that because the compound interest, it's like the compound interest formula. And when that tends towards infinity, it's tending towards E. So that tends towards 2.718 dot, 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 dot. And that is approximately E. Okay, so what that means is that the pizza is E. Now, 
What we need to do now is put all of that into the integral. So the integral, and I think that's two beers. Yes, it is. The integral of two beers, so natural log of 2e, because we know the pizza is e, and then the bottom limit will be the natural log of e, will be equal to the pizza to the ice cream. Everybody following? The pizza to the ice cream. Now the pizza is e, and we let the ice cream be x, because we knew that it was dx. And then our answer is the answer to that. I think I'm going to get the, cra the correct, the correct, no, not crap, the correct answer. I don't know what the correct answer is, but I can see that we've got a nice integral here and the E's and the natural logs are going to cancel. If, by the way, you're sat there thinking, I have absolutely no idea what you're doing, don't worry, it's fine. You can just watch this for entertainment. No one's probably watching for entertainment, but anyway. Now we need to integrate that. So a nice thing about e to the x when it integrates, you just integrate it and it stays as e to the x. So e to the x and then our limits are natural log e and natural log 2e. We need to work out what that is. So that's e to the natural log of 2e minus e to the natural log of e. And those cancel out E and natural log. By the way, LN is what I'm writing here. That's natural log. That will cancel with that. And that will cancel with that in visual terms. So then what happens is we get 2E minus E. So is the answer just E? Oh my God. Let's find out if the answer is E or not. What we need to do is we need to search Eddie Wu and it might just come up. Might not. No, we're going to have to search. That's okay. What's the answer? That's all I need to know. <gasps> Yay! The answer is E. I don't know why I'm getting so surprised because I did do A-level maths and A-level further maths, kind of. I wasn't able to do the further maths because of coronavirus, but I'm happy with myself because I did it. So there we go. I hope this video was of some entertainment. If you are not a maths person, then well done for watching this because it was probably like a nightmare to you. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to. You don't have to though. And you can follow me on Instagram and everything else, which is down here somewhere. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will hopefully see you very, very soon with another video. Stay safe. Bye.